Well, good Saturday morning to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Hope everybody's having a wonderful start to the weekend. But you know what? Lord of mercy. We done had some showing off storms come through over here at my home in the sticks and it just wiped out everything. But I also did get something in the mail. So give me a second and uh, I'm going to show you and y'all what it is. y'all let me show you i apologize for the light i'm in my shop it's not really sunny outside it's like really cloudy look like it won't rain again but i had some storms come through thursday and friday when i got home friday i had no wi-fi no internet no nothing i don't know if some lightning uh, struck something or it was a surge but i lost my wireless cable uh, modem and router and also my wi-fi extender package so I lost all of this stuff. Had to end it up, had to go get another Wi-Fi uh, cable router. It's sitting over yonder. But uh, Lord, if it ain't one thing, it's another, right? Got the new one up and running, and that it is doing. Now, the good stuff. Let me show you what I got. It's kind of like a late Father's Day gift, but uh, let me show you. Booyah! Yes, Lord. I've been wanting one of these things for a while, and you and y'all know how analytic I am when it comes to uh, doing research on whatnot, but finally got one, a pit barrel cooker. And I'm here to tell you, it's a nice little cooker. Now what I'm going to tell you is I follow a couple of channels, two specifically, uh, the Four Hearts Ranch and T-Roy Cooks. The Four Hearts Ranch cooks uh, exclusively on a pit barrel cooker, and I, I know them personally, and I've been going back and forth with T.W. and Melissa on it. After about a couple of months, a couple of three months of research, I uh, just went ahead and got one. Uh, again, it was a late Father's Day gift. I didn't do an unboxing video on any on this pit barrel cooker or anything like that because well, there's a whole bunch of them on YouTube. But what I thought I would do is I would show you the things that I got to go along with it. Uh, it is a excellent uh, smoker uh, right off the bat. I did have a lot of questions about uh, this cooker and I actually got in touch with the owner the barrel cookers Noah and I spent I don't know maybe an hour on the phone with him I just had a bunch of questions he was more than willing to uh, answer those questions and ain't there's not very many uh, companies left uh, nowadays that you can actually speak to the owner on the phone and if you have any concerns I will say that uh, his number one goal is customer service, and I'm here to tell you, they provide excellent customer service. But uh, let me show you. Then again, I got the pit barrel cooker the way it normally comes, and I actually got the law enforcement uh, tag put on it. Y'all know what I do. On the, the coal thingamajig that holds the coal, I actually got the ash pan that goes underneath it. So it makes it a whole lot easier to actually clean uh, the pit barrel out. Ended up purchasing this, purchasing this thing. This is a half chimney because I actually have a uh, full Weber chimney and it's just too hard to actually get this guy inside this thing to pour the coals, the heated coals onto the charcoal that goes in there. Another thing that I also, and these are the hooks, stainless steel hooks. Yep, don't mind the bag, the Ziploc bags. I'm just like that. Got to have everything. Everything has a place. I actually went ahead and got this thing right here. This is the actual hinged grate. There we go. It's the hinged grate. Pretty cool if you want to you want to do some, uh, you know, a full meal on the pit barrel cooker. And, and you actually can. I mean, you can hang ribs, you can do corn, you can do sausage, you can, yeah. I'm gonna use this thing and I'm, I'm just gonna show sure enough do a couple uh, whole meals on a, on a pit barrel cooker. And that, that's coming, that's in the workings. I've had a whole bunch of folks uh, ask me, Dan, you need to do some more, uh, some more videos on, on cooking, because we like, you know, we show sure enough dig your cooking videos. So I figured, heck, what, what, uh, what better way to do it than on that thing right there. That we're gonna do. The two last things is I actually got the uh, the pit mitts. 
don't make any sense going to Walmart and buying one mitt for nine dollars because they I, that is beyond me. How do you sell pit gloves individually? But anyways, and the last thing is this guy right here, which is the actual turkey hanger. You can do turkeys and chickens as well on this uh, using this the hanger. So what I'm tickled pink y'all and I sure enough got a inkling suspicion that I'm gonna I'm gonna show enough cook something on this thing today. You may see me again today, but I wanted to show uh, you and y'all uh, my late Father's Day gift. And I actually have to catch up on a lot of videos. Uh, my internet and my Wi-Fi have been down for the last uh, two and a half, almost three days. But I have that squared away. Just want to let you and y'all know what was going on over here at the home in the sticks. It's been a couple of days since I put a video up. Now you know why. I was down for the count. If you like the video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home in the Sticks channel, y'all sure enough need to come on over and give me a look. Because I'm always doing stuff, really. And with that being said, you know it's coming. Damn, sure enough, going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. I mean, nobody. You get your shine on. I'm finna shine and put something on that pit barrel cooker. And, yeah, we're going to get our eat on. And we will see you and y'all in the next video.